Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to show you one of the best password managers you can get for your desktop. This program is called KeePass XC and it's free and open source software. So first let's open up a browser and navigate to KeePassXC.org and you'll see a download button. Let's go ahead and click on the download. So here you'll see multiple options, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Go ahead and choose your operating system of choice and go ahead and click on download. Once you've downloaded the file, go ahead and install it. After the installation is complete, let's go ahead and open up the application and you should see a window similar to this. So now we can create a database. So let's go ahead and click on create database. You're going to give the database a name. So go ahead and name it whatever you'd like. And you can also add a description. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Here we have the encryption settings. You can keep this as default or increase the amount of time it'll take to decrypt your database. And go ahead and click on continue. Now you need to enter a master password to get into your password database. So make sure you don't forget this. For testing, I'm just going to type password and then password again. Let's click done. Now it should ask you where you want to save the database file. So we're going to save it on the desktop and let's click on save. And that's all you need to do to create your password manager. So let's add an entry. We'll click on this plus sign and we're going to put login and then let's say username and then password and let's click on OK. And now we have a new entry which contains a username as well as the password. You can copy the password by right clicking and click copy password. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we lock our database. So we're going to click this lock symbol here on the top left. And now it's asking for our password. This is the master password we set earlier. So let's go ahead and type that now. And as you can see, we're back into our database. So I wanted to share this so that way you can securely store your passwords. I hope you found this useful. Thank you all for watching. I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you next time.